Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a first impressions and swatch video of the Jeffree Star liquid lipstick in the shade Rich Blood. It comes in this box here, which is just a standard Jeffree Star box for his liquid lipsticks. And then this is what the shade looks like here. Is it not just the most gorgeous thing ever? I'm just going to quickly give it a shake. So this shade, it is more, it's not matte. It is or it does have some glitter to it. So I haven't tried any from Jeffree that have glitter in it. So this is gonna be my very first one, but that's gonna be exciting. For those who are new, this one has 5.6 mil in it, or if you're talking ounces, it's 0 0.19 ounces. It retails for 18 US dollars on the Jeffree Star website, as well as on Beautylish. So it just comes in the standard packet as with most of his liquid lipsticks. I don't think this one has a scent. It does have the same doe foot applicator, but with this one, I can notice that there's a lot of buildup on the wand. That is something that I'm not used to with Jeffree Star's liquid lipsticks. But I'm gonna swatch it on the least. Ooh, it's very, very moussey. I think I remember him talking in the video saying that this one's gonna be a bit more moussey than the others, just because of the glitter particles in there. But that's it swatched on my hand. I'm gonna let that dry down. While that dries down, I'm going to wipe off the lip balm off my lips. I did exfoliate my lips with the Jeffree Star Lip Scrub in Root Beer. And then I applied my Burt's Bees Lip Balm on top of that. I'm not too sure if this is drying down or not. Anyway, we're going to start applying this to the lips. Every time I pull it out of the tube, there is a little bit of buildup on the applicator, but that's okay. And I always apply mine on the side just because there's not as much product there. So I can line my lips very, very easily and then go on with the kind of like indent part. It works for me to eat to their own. So then I go upside down. So here's the curvature of it, but I use this side just because there's not as much product to line the upper part of my lip. This is so pigmented. And then I'll use the kind of curved in bit to fill in the rest. I really, really like this color. It makes me look a little bit washed out because I do have two bright, bright, bright lights in front of me, but I really, really do love it in real life. This is it on my hand. It's still drying down, so it's not drying down as fast as the traditional liquid lipsticks from Jeffree Star, but that's okay. It is very comfortable on the lips. So only up close can you notice the little sparkles in it, but even then it still looks super, super pretty. It doesn't look over the top at all. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to let this dry and then I'll be right back. What I'm going to do now is I'm just going to compare the Rich Blood to three other Jeffree Star liquid lipsticks while I let this one dry on my lips. And then I'll see if it does transfer or not. So the first one that I'm going to compare it to is Red Rum. That's it there compared. I'm now going to compare it to Anna Nicole. This is one of my favorite reds. So this one looks completely orange next to it, let's be real. <laughs> and the other one I'm going to compare it to is Unicorn Blood, which is that one there. Just for comparison, this one is a lot more of a berry, wine, merlot kind of color. So I feel like I've given that enough time to set on my lips. Still feels super, super comfortable. So this is just a clean piece of tissue, and I'm just going to press my lips against it the tiniest little bit, but that's perfectly fine for me, to be honest. So yeah, overall, I really, really like this one. I do actually quite like the moussey texture of it. I, at first, I was like, oh, I don't know about this one, but I actually really, really, really do like the moussey texture of it. They said if you rub, it should activate the glitter. Oh, it does. That's cool. Okay, so overall, I really, really like the shade. I like how it isn't too similar to the other reds in his line. Like, obviously, it's still a red, but it's not the same, like, undertone and stuff. I really, really like that. I also like how this one is a different formula. I really, really like the moussiness of it. At first, when I heard about the moussey texture, I was just like, oh, no, I don't think I'm going to like that. But really, I actually do quite like it. So, yeah, overall, I quite like it. I like how it doesn't really transfer all that much. And yeah, I don't really feel like there's anything else for me to say. So if you guys enjoyed this video, then please give it a big thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe. And yeah, I hope to see you in my next video.